What it, what it do, man? It's your boy Cool King, man. Y'all subscribe, like, comment, tap the reviews on YouTube, man. Yeah, better get the, you know what I'm saying? We got some good ass shit on the way, bro. You know that. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Tap Their Reviews. Today, I got a special guest. Let them know who you are, man. Cool KM, man. You know, artist from Mississippi. You know, we're finna get this thing popping. Oh, feel? yeah. No cap. Today, we on this Indigo. This real new. This, so, this Snoop Dogg gin, man. It's a strawberry flavor gin. Mm. Now, when last time you drunk some gin? Never. <laughs> no, me. Hey, listen. The last time I drank some gin was probably like mixed or something. Like, I don't. I'm more, I'm more the tequila, man. I used to be a uh, Kanye. The hand out king, you feel me? But yeah. I just switched to Patron just way more of my swag, so. So you can let the people, I'm finna uh, bust this bottle. So yeah, you can let the people know what you've been uh, doing during the quarantine. Man, uh, really. Or just whatever. What really hibernating, because I mean, you just really can't do too much. You know, everybody's scared, mad, shit. Like, it, it just wasn't the same. So, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't no sense of me doing what I usually do, dropping often, you know what I'm saying? Trying to. Go do shows, meet people and shit, cause I ain't one for myself, it rich neither. So yeah. I just taking it easy, like everybody else was, and really just trying to stack up the music. So when I do drop, I got the bar rolling, just never stopped. You right. feel me? I know you ain't got some heat coming too. Oh yeah, twenty one finna be crazy. <laughs> I ain't lying to you. So uh, a little bit about this uh, indigo man. It's a strawberry uh, flavor gin, and uh, on the back of it, it say this thing remix. Seven uh premium botanicals because usually when you make gin, they use botanicals or whatever. So, what that, whatever that is, yeah, whatever that is. But we feel the uh, so usual tap the review, we drinking neat, we drinking on the rocks, and uh, so we feel the guy on drinking neat, yeah, man. Same we and we feel the uh, tap this in. Which one tap it into, man? Uh, better wealth and better health at 21. All right, they're gonna touch it, right, man. Oh, we need Smith. Hold on. I'm putting some more good. So I'm going to put you on the rocks. Yeah. I ain't that kind of. It ain't bad. It ain't bad. It tastes like vodka. It definitely tastes like vodka. Like, like if if they wouldn't say it was gin, I would have thought it was a flavor of vodka. I probably would have compared it to the, um, <clears throat> what that, what, it's a P word. It's, a, it's some kind of vodka. They got all type of flavors. They got Pinnacle. They, yo, <laughs> they kind of remind me of that a little bit. Yeah, it's a, it ain't bad, Snoop. Like, this, this shit, this shit decent, Snoop. It even smell like it, though. Like, it smell good as fuck. Yeah. You feel me? But would I get it in a club or some shit? Like, mm, I don't know, man. I, so let let the people know what you know I'm going to drink. Because I, I, I know you put your own pocket. Yeah, I'm put your own, like, all the way, like, First thing I get is Patron. I actually was trying to get my drink and them bar Patron probably like a signature drink when I come, so I'm still working on it, but... Man, yeah. that, that should have been dead, that man. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's just a little pricey, but, you know, I ain't really been pushing the issue neither, so... Yeah. But, yeah, I... Um, so, other than Patron, like, you got... My secondary would be, like, the Hennessy, though. Like, All right. And one gotta more Gotta go back to the roots. Like, that's why I was at first, yeah. You know, if I ain't got the Patron, then I'll settle for it. You know, I don't really like crime for real, but I will drink it. Yeah. If it's the only thing we got, but nah, man, Patron me. Like, I got to get down. I got I got some shit to do, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that, that Patron, that tequila hit different. Like, that motherfucker get you there. You know, yeah, a lot of people people's scared of it. A lot, a lot of people like, yeah, you know what I mean? Nah. You just ain't, you just can't handle that shit, man. Hey, yo, no. So, we're going to tap this one in. We're going to try it on the rock, see what, uh, what change. We're going to tap this in the goddamn, uh, I don't even know, man. Let's tap this in the 2021, man. Yeah. Hopefully, it's going to be a good one. Yeah, you got, hey, you got to do that. <laughs> we don't know, baby. Wait, this shit going. I say it's, I, it's more pleasing on the rock, though. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I wouldn't do it in no shots. I want I want to take shots at it, but on the rocks and wing, you know, on the chill, yeah, I, I I definitely fuck with it. Yeah, I feel like this will be uh, even on the back of it, they got uh, they got some called laid back. So I guess you mix this with some pineapple juice, and that'll be like. Actually, uh, I could do that. I could I could definitely fuck with it on some juice, like, but like the scrape drink, just because if I'm not a fan of gin, I probably wouldn't get it. Yeah. But as a drink with a, you know, pineapple juice and shit like that, yeah, yeah I fuck with it. Yeah, I, like, I, I, I actually don't probably finish the whole look. 
And it's crazy because like first taste, it kind of tastes like a flavor of vodka, but like as you drink it more, you can really taste that G on it. Yeah, it hits you on the back end. Yeah. Oh, like, it's, it's all right. Like, it's, it ain't something I would just. Nah. It, mm. <laughs> Like Snoop, it, it, it's decent, cuz, but it ain't. Eh. But I mean, you know, for the drink, uh, the gin drinkers, I, I, my, I got a partner, you know what I'm saying? But, but love to my guy. Oh yeah, but than my guy yeah, too. Yeah, he, he drink gin. He would probably love this shit. Oh I ain't yeah, gonna lie. I gotta get that boy on him, man. <clears throat> yeah, that's my guy. He, he probably fuck with this. He, a gin, he drink the regular gin, like. The he, little paint that be in that little brown ooh. bag, motherfucker. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> that nigga got some old soul in him. Yeah, he got old soul. He be spiked up, so he drank the whole body. He be up. You know, <laughs> you know, I ain't know your level yet, cut. But he probably fuck with that, though. No yeah, yeah, I might say something. Let him come, uh, come through and try yeah, it, man. Yeah, let him try that motherfucker. I'll tap him in with it. I ain't gonna lie, but, like, it do go down smooth, and... The flavor ain't bad, but it just tastes like gin, so like. Yeah, you know I'm not just a fan. Yeah. Fanatic of gin, but it is good though. Snoop. Yeah. Got a good flavor on this mug. Oh yeah, no, notice the spelling on it, man. They got they got the D O double G on that thing. Got to man. know that D O double G. And we got the uh, Snoop on the look. Well, I want to make me some so, liquor. <laughs> the brand is good, man. I like the bar. It's it's purple, like so. If you go to the bar, you gonna see it. Yeah. On the, uh, it, it, it's really. Yeah, like, yeah, I like the way the bottle is. Let me see the fuck this is. Matter of fact, it's like, if you've never seen it before, it's like, you're going to want to know what it is yeah, and yeah, how yeah. it tastes because, like, I ain't never heard no shit like that. Yeah. And it's got to be exclusive because look at the bottle. Like, the bottle, you know what I'm saying? It grabbed me already, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I first seen it online, I was like, man, let me order this. Man, I ordered it. It came in. Uh, so, on tap the reviews, we rate everything 1 to 7. Not 1 to 5, not 1 to 10, 1 to 7. And uh, we'll do, we'll just rate it. We ain't going to do neither no wrong. Right. We're just going to rate it. Yep. So like 1 to 7, 3.5 being in the middle, mm -hmm. what would you get this? You can do some pointers. It don't matter. Uh, hey, you can do that's I, I right. really like it, though. I ain't, it's not a bad liquor, though. So it, I would give that, like, a, since we had a 7, 5.5. 5.5. Like, 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 if I ain't got no Patron to hand, I fuck with it on everything. I fuck with it. Yeah. Like, yeah, for sure. Let me see. Uh, you like it better on the rocks? Rocks. You got to have it on the rocks, though. All right. So, uh, if you, so neat, you'll give it a 5.5. You'll give it, like, a little higher on the rocks, or you'll go, like. Well, I was talking about on the rocks with the 5.5. All right. Because it's, like, the best 1.5 it off from the 7. So, it ain't far off from a, a 7. It's so, off But, yeah, on, off the rocks, uh about a foe. Gotcha. That ain't, that ain't, that <laughs> that's how about, about right, because he's a... Uh, I would definitely want it on the rocks and probably in a mixed drink. I don't want to just... You got Yeah, it's, this is one of them mixed drinks that, like, going to get you there. I feel like you mix them motherfucker up, you have enough of them. Probably not even enough. Probably a couple cups. Like, yeah. it's going to be scraped, scraped. Like, I don't even know what the percent on this thing is. And that's what oh, I'm it's saying. Oh, it's 40%. So, it's going right. to get you So, it's just like two, what, two, three mixed cups. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Depending on... Your tolerance, like, shit, you might have one cup. Be lit as a motherfucker. But the shit, I can tell it got some little spike to it because shit, I'm feeling it too. I already. Because <laughs> I ain't even, but I ain't ate neither. So yeah. it's just like me tasting look on an empty stomach. So but yeah, it's, 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 it's straight. I feel like, uh, let's just say you go get a margarita. And you yep. they, they make your margarita with house margarita versus making your margarita with Patron. you going to taste a difference. I got to have a Patron on my margarita, though. Yeah. Like, so I feel like with the gin, if they make a whatever they make with gin with uh, regular Seagrams and then substitute it for this, it's gonna hit. It's way gonna hit way. It's gonna hit harder, like a motherfucker. Yeah. But like, cause you can, like I say, when you mix the margarita with the house, it's not. Don't give me that shit. <laughs> like I got a purpose of why I'm trying to get a margarita. I'm trying to hang, and I'm trying to get there at the same time. Yeah. With the Patron margarita, it's like I'm trying to balance it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but. Nah, the half of my really don't just don't do it. Then they down that motherfucker with salt, like the salt be at the bottom of the cup. Like, nah, bro. Like, Don't fuck right here. High blood pressure drinking that bit. Like, take that back. We gonna, I wanted the sugar. You ain't put the sugar on it. The, the salt is too salty. <laughs> I understand, you know, people can't season it, but that's too much salt. Yeah, yeah. Then you got the liquor that be burning you. That don't match. Yeah. Man, I'm gonna give it a rate, man. I, uh, on the rocks, I'm gonna give it a solid. I'm gonna go 4.5 on the rocks, but I feel like uh, 
Yeah, four point five on the rocks and four neat. And then if I was just to rate it like on some mix, like mixing with it, yeah, it it'll be way up there to mix with. Like it'll be. I probably quality. give it a seven. I probably give it a seven. Oh yeah, like a, some mixed in it with it. Yeah, like especially because pine my favorite juice. So I wish I had some. We probably would have put a little splash. Yeah, I would have definitely like gone film it one time. <laughs> yeah, for sure though. So, uh, would you? What would you compare this vodka to, man? Like any real life thing, it could be your ideal, a vibe, person, place, thing, or whatever. What you compare it to, man? Got to take it one more time. <laughs> Got to take the thing one more time, good. Um, damn, that's an interesting question, bro. Like. I never knew how hard it was to answer until I actually got asked, asked this question. But, um, oh, I got a comparison. I might get, I might get on my comparison too. I probably, you know, what I'm saying some shit I did before. Like, I mean, I done pulled up to like the reservoir and just let my my roof back and just look up in the stars and shit. Like, just yeah. relax. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, it's, it is a relaxing feeling that it gives. And, and it, it's smooth. And it worked, because I feel that shit, too. Right. Like, so, I, yeah, I, can, I can sweet. definitely, like, give it that. Like, I'm laid back. I'm chilling. Like, this This is one of all my downtime. I just need to get away from everything, everybody, and just relax. I don't need no music. I just want to, you know what I'm saying? See, yeah. See shit. You know what I compare this thing to, man? What is it? So, you ever been in high school, and you see a chick, and she decent, right? Yeah. And then you look like, uh... Let's just say about five years later, at college, whatever, you know, she be looking, you know, better. Like, I ain't know that with you. Like, I ain't, like, yeah. this is like a, some shit, in, like, you see it in high school, it's like, oh, it's decent. But then, like, once you get out of high school and college and, you know, go on with their life, it's like, oh, you a bad oh, the whole time. Up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you, you done blowed up a little bit. It's like a, it's, it's a sleeper, like, for real. It's a sleeper. Yeah, I, I feel you. That's a better comparison because I just can't figure it out. Yeah. You feel me? Because if you was to add me to rape Patron, I would be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it bitch that nagging. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Now, this is really uh, one, of them, one of them sleepers, though, because, like I say, it ain't that harsh. It's yeah. not harsh at all, but it will sneak up on you, like, especially for the non-drinkers, like, it's not for the Or like if you uh you fool with a girl like she geeky or whatever and then I get down to business and she just opened up. I'm mm-hmm. like, ooh Mm-mm. that then what this is. This the uh this the nerdy girl once she take the glasses off and she she ready to get down. And it's the bad it's the bad cat okay? Oh yeah, go oh, ahead. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bad bitch when you mix it with some with some with some juice. Oh yeah. It's, put it's a little makeup on her. Yeah, you put a makeup mm-hmm. on the foundation. Maybe you a little. don't even need to come to it, like you just you know what I'm saying? It's straight to the point, like for real, for real. Natural hair, or if they want the inches, it don't matter. We take them out. <laughs> so uh, on tap the reviews, we got a section called two turns. So basically, uh, the guests on tap the reviews share a time where they done got two turns, man. So can you think of a time you got two turns? To my to my drunk, or just in general, like man, honestly, you could man, cause my my homeboy, the first episode I did, he talked about the first and last time he did cocaine. So. Oh, it ain't gotta be drunk, but like if, if you just was turnt, man, you can you can share the story, man. Uh, I'm gonna pull me up a little bit more, while you <laughs> man. <laughs> I, man, I had some, I got so many like, but see how my shit be like sexual though, I ain't lying. So man, let these folks know what it is, man. If they listen to your music, they know what it is. I ain't gonna lie, I was leaving uh I was leaving M Bar, and if anybody familiar with the song Outlaw, you feel me? That's um, my shit. On my two on one album. See, that actually was a true story of me driving and fucking at the same time. Like, that's straight up drunk. <laughs> but y'all are like, dangerous. Yeah, I'm, we, as a matter of fact, we're on the spillway, you know what I'm saying? So. You fuck with the reservoir, huh? Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was taking a risk, bro. Like, I, I ain't gonna lie. I was, I was on the edge that night, but I ain't give a fuck. Because it was just like, I feel great. She looking good as a motherfucker. She like, yeah, come on. Like, and then she was my shot, so it was just like, shit, yeah. they do it, no okay. cap. That's, that's, that's one of my most, that's my, by far my litest situation that I've been in. Like, yeah. everything else is mediocre, like, you get drunk, you, what, fall down, I don't fall down, but, <laughs> you know, you might throw up here and there, baby, that's, that's baby shit, but I'm talking about full-fledged driving, 
I barely could see. Yeah. Cause she in front of me and shit. Like. But yeah, that, that, you feel me? That's some dangerous shit. That's and you on the and you on the spillway, so you know it ain't really no, <laughs> no railing on that motherfucker. It's either grass or water or that bitch. So it's just like shit. You know, that's that's my favorite situation too. So no, I don't mind. That's turk brand. Like I ain't never had that shit before. That shit amazing. But I wouldn't advise you to do that shit <laughs> Nigga, that shit be difficult for my head because I ain't, I ain't no little nigga. So, like, whoever I'm fucking with, you, you got, I gotta have a big car or got, a little bit. You got or know, a combination of both. You got to goddamn know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, Y'all ain't doing the Olympics, dude. Yeah. And I'm talking about police free. Yeah. Just just, just so happened that night, police free. Like, yeah. we had to, shit, we pulled over. We didn't even make it out to the crib. We had to pull over and goddamn finish. Like, <laughs> I ain't lying. Okay. That's some real nigga shit, cuz. Yeah, glad. yeah, like, man, we're gonna pull over, just gonna get this shit out the way. <laughs> For real. But that's my favorite story, my most lit story, though. On the liquor. Man, um, y'all gonna listen to Outlaw. If y'all Outlaw, wanna hear the Outlaw, Outlaw, it's on Apple Music. It's on the 21 album. It should be number six or eight. I don't know. I got like 21 songs on there. Yeah. But that that's the one. I think, uh, what's my favorite track? Apartment 3, one of my favorite tracks. Apartment that's my three. shit. And like, a lot of people thought that was like a. Uh, um, real story. I, I thought a, it was too. I have a broad imagination, bro. Like I, I actually put myself in what if situation. How would I react? What would I do? How would it go? Yeah. Type shit. And that's how I create stories. You don't have to always go through shit. But I done been through shit similar to that. Yeah. So I kind of indirect my business to make it more of a a song versus. Giving my personal, personal, personal business up. Makes sense. It's yeah. like, it's like, nigga, I ain't never. I, I get what you're saying, baby. Like, I done did a combination of this stuff, but like. You don't know when I did it, and yeah. you don't know, what, like, what time period I did it. Like, I done definitely experienced 95, 99% of the shit I talk about in my song. Yeah. But it's just like, that don't mean they happening now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They happening at the time to where, like, I was vulnerable this time. I was on my dog shit this time. You know what I'm saying? I give a fuck about nobody feelings this time. Yeah. I hopped in a relationship but this time. I love this person. This is how I feel. I ain't cheating on this person. Ooh, ooh. It, I, I've been through my moments. I got cheated on. I start dogging other females out. You know, yeah. So I've been down that road, but it's just like, you mature as you go through shit, as you should, but some people don't. But that's how my music get made, bro. Like, and I can tell, man, because like, I fuck with your music. The long way on God. Like, when I be listening to this show, I'm like, boy, this nigga, this nigga talented. But see, and it's crazy because, like, a lot of people are like, why didn't he move it? Ooh. It's like, she got in and gave me that, that feeling to move. It's like, you got to be patient, you know what I'm saying, with anything yeah. that you want to be successful at, especially your craft. You have to be patient. And you got to know that it might come at a later date than somebody else. But it's never no time limit on success, though. They like, man, they mm-hmm. But yeah, like yo, yo shit dope. Like I, I fuck with it. Appreciate that shit, bro. I ain't a lot. The first time I caught wind of you, it was uh, my boy Benny Gold. He had did a uh video reaction to uh. I remember. I, I can't remember what video it was, but I looked at the video. He did it to uh, can't relate. Yeah. So I watched it, and that's what put me on to you. So like, then I went and listened to your other shit. I'm like, oh yeah, this this it right here. And then I know you are uh you an engineer and I heard you one of the best in the city, goddamn. Yeah. That's what they say. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, you got other dope engineers too, you know. You got Shane, you got Hirsch, you feel me? You got it's just a lot of people that run this mother the motherfucker that you don't know or probably never heard of that's dope, you feel me? I ain't yeah. know. But you know, I, I take I, I take pride in my people that be coming, you know what I'm saying? They feel how they feel, you feel me? Yeah. And I've been doing this shit a long time, so, yeah. I got a question. Uh, So, this is off, this is off the look, but I just got a question. So, yeah. like, I know you probably engineer your own stuff, of course, right? Yeah. Like, is that difficult? No. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm so intact with my shit. Like, it don't take me long. Like, a lot of people think I write my music. I don't write my shit. Like, Everything that you ever done heard from the last four projects came off the dome. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I sit there, think about it. I write like four lines in my head, go lay it down, write another four in my head. Yeah. Or I might write a whole 16 in my head, 
keep rapping over and over to remember and then I go record it. Yeah. But I think it's more I don't know, it's it sounds better when you just know it. Or it just sound better when you just lay it down and you can just focus on the next piece. You feel me? Instead of writing it and it sound like you're reading it. Yeah. A lot of people be when they record, they be looking at the wall and shit, trying to look at their phone, looking down at the ground. It's just not translating how it should if it was just in tech with you, you feel me? Like, yeah. they ask me, why your shit sounds like. You ain't reciting it. You, 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 you I'm, say, you I'm, saying I'm it. I'm just it. like, if I'm talking to a female, I'm not fucking looking over <laughs> here talking to her. Like, she's not standing right here. Yeah. You got to treat the microphone the same way. It's like, I'm in your ear with it. Like, I'm letting you know I want you to hear me. Yeah. You got to look at it just like that. You feel me? It's yeah, not. Yeah. We, we, we try, what y'all doing? Y'all looking at the ceiling, fam. <laughs> like, the mic is right here. Yeah. So your vocals going to be projected not how they should. And when your shit don't come out how it's supposed to, don't blame me for it. Because it starts with the artist inside the booth. Yeah. What you doing in there? It's gonna determine how this shit sound out here. Yeah. But yeah, that's some real nigga shit, man. Oh god. Think if I was an artist, I'd be able to come to you because I know like you 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 you, you I feel like you don't master your craft and you actually care about that shit. Yeah, you know I actually be having folks sing, bro. Like I be having folks sing they song or I would actually change some bars out they shit because either one, some of them may not make sense, or two, I feel like the flow could be better on them. Like yeah. I just pitch that in there. You know, people get paid for shit like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can get money. I can if I was dead deep into this shit, like. And I, I seen Ghostwriter in your uh. Yeah, I actually wrote whole songs for people. Like, yeah. I don't speak on it because that's the point of a ghostwriter. You never know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, hey, bro, I can actually get a percentage of your song if I was to be technical with it. Like, I can. Yeah, I I helped wrote this song. Yeah. Regardless, if I get you two three lines. My name still going, my government still, still going, going on, on the credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't trying to do all that. If I just want to see everybody shine on their own, if I can help them with it, if it's a little small piece, it's cool. I'm not trying to be greedy, you feel me? I'm trying to make sure you eat too. Yeah, but yeah, I want yeah. your shit right. So when you drop to these people, they like, all right, your shit sound good and you sound complete. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You don't sound local because that, they make the local mistakes of, Trying to think they got to do it in one take, running out of breath, doing all the extra shit. Like, nah, bro. Like, <laughs> stop. Get this line all the way out. Come on top of this motherfucker. Make it sound good. And blend that shit. We out. Man, listen. Any local artist, any artist, period, listening to this, he dropping gems right now. And this one even, like, we, we were supposed to be talking about, goddamn it, Indigo Gym, but he dropping gems. But you they know what need what to saying? hear that shit, though. Oh, God. People, people don't understand, like, they, they prag in a way, like, Oh man, you, I gotta have this shit right. You know what I'm saying? When, when I come record, like, bro, this is the point of a studio. I'm the engineer to help you get this shit right. So when you present it, you will even know how this shit supposed to sound. So when you perform, you can perform the right way instead of performing it the bullshit way because you don't know no better. Yeah. So if we fix all the bullshit now, not to be talking about some bullshit, but I'm just saying we fix all the errors now, then by the time you keep listening to it in the car and shit, when it's complete, you performing good. Yeah. You feel me? That's the point of a studio. Get it right inside. So, where the people ain't it, I'm helping you. I'm not the motherfucking people. I'm the dude that's going to help you complete the song. Yeah. Like, listen. He full of wisdom, y'all. Y'all go check out Cool KM, like, dope-ass artist from Jackson, Mississippi. Got that. Man, come on, man. You know? Like, he... And we can collab, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? All I, all I be asking people to do is, like... <clears throat> Cause a lot of people be wanting me to get on song and shit. It's just like, let me see what you doing before I hop on your song. Yeah. You feel me? I want to see your work. I want to see, it, are you able to do your project by yourself? Yeah. Not do a verse, then you need somebody else on the second verse. Yeah. Nah, do, do your whole song. Let me see you make a complete song. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just hop on the song just yeah. because you got an open slot. Like, I want to see some, so I want to see completed songs bro like yeah. i like your work you feel me it it's sense. like you're gonna get trying to go get a job let me see your let me see what you let me see yeah. what you're doing like i'm not just yeah, gonna fuck with you, you just that. because you want me to yeah you know it's like you good at this good at that all right yeah you're beneficial yeah, yeah i'm not just trying to be a benefit to you like how can you benefit me you're not even putting songs up 
Well, you see, you know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I don't mind helping, but a lot of people like get features and never drop the song. <laughs> so I don't waste it a verse, regardless if you pay me or not. Yeah. You know, you ain't about the money. I want, you know, I want my shit out here as well as I would drop some shit. Yeah. So, shit. Like, people hold a song for two, three years. <laughs> It'd be a whole other sound by then. Yeah. You, now you can't drop it. Hell yeah, no, nah, they were like, what the fuck is this? This shit was old. This shit vintage. Bro, I got <laughs> shit from 12 I ain't dropped because that was the Roscoe Dash and the, the Travis Porter wave. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was those type of beats. So I can't drop that in 21. Like, yeah. and like, boy, what you on? Saggy pants and long shirt? And long shirt? We not on that, but boy, we got them and dripped up. God damn, we having. Well, like, we not doing that, god damn it. Shit no more. Like, it's, it's on to something new. So you got to keep up. That's like real shit, though. Like, you know, they always call Mississippi behind because we the last to catch up on any type of drip. So yeah. it's just like, we need to start, we need to go and fix that now so we can go, start creating our own way, you feel me? Like, we look for, we look at other shit like, all right, man, that shit hard. Let me start, let, you know what I'm saying? Nah, bro, we need to go and create our own way and we need to go and start connecting <laughs> so we can have big ass, uh, Labels down here, you know what I'm saying? Partnerships down here. People want to work with us, push the yeah, local yeah. artists, and make the local scene like Atlanta. Like, everybody support everybody. I'm, they putting everybody on. Everybody getting put on that bitch. That's why people moving there, trying yeah. to see if they can get put on. If we can do that shit in Mississippi, oh, we're going to be some cold blood motherfuckers. Man, and there's okay. so much talent in Mississippi, it's ridiculous. Bro, we so cold. I ain't lying. Like, and this ain't just, I'm saying it for me, see, like, I done seen and heard things. Bro, you got niggas in Tupelo, you got niggas in Hazel, her, shout out to my Christian Spring niggas, <laughs> self and the, like, bro, you got the Vicksburg, like, you got niggas in Hattiesburg, the bro. Coast. People, you know what I'm saying, but look, see, like, come on, like, <laughs> bro, we got talent seen just because we don't know how to connect out this shit, and that's the problem. Yeah. It, that's what we behind on, that's the number one thing we behind on, is connecting all the artists together creating a venue to where like it ain't no bullshit it's like motherfuckers actually come there motherfucker, and we actually getting seen and heard like damn who you is I'm got you hard. I ain't never heard you before let me get your IG matter of fact let me get your email from seeing some beach yeah. Ooh, I'm a producer that's how that shit supposed to go and it just trigger like that like motherfucker I want money for yeah. shit like sometimes you gotta not try to get paid and let's sometimes try to make value money. is 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 in other shit other than money cause like yes once you spend that money, it's gone. But like, once you build a relationship with somebody, yeah, that, shit that, shit, that shit is that shit is costing them to be one thousand. Yeah, like that's what that shit makes priceless to build a relationship. Like, it don't cost me nothing. I ain't gotta pay you to talk to you, bro. Like, let's just chop it up. Yeah. And once we get connected, it's over with. Yeah. Like, damn, bro, I ain't even know you shot videos too. Like, that's where I get all the time still. Ain't shoot videos too. I'm like, yo, <laughs> do it all. One stop shop, like for real. And I'm 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 doing this shit by myself. I got a team, you know what I'm saying? I got my sisters are like, but I'm just somebody being like hands on with the hardware and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I do all this, like the <clears throat> post production, all this stuff like that. She might help me shoot. She might you know do the lights and stuff. I got another dude named Zo Vision. He take the pictures. He also shoot videos too, and we actually finna connect, like start doing all some teamwork shit. So we're like we finna just try to. I only come do a lot more shit together, and, and it, I think shit to get done faster that like, faster that way instead of motherfuckers trying to do it by themselves. Yeah. So we've been chopping it up, and we probably gonna try to get that ball rolling on it. But yeah, that's 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 what it is, bro. That's the that's what we got lined up for twenty one, man. <clears throat> it's a real big shit, and they already playing one of our, our songs on the radio, me and Boo Rossini. Um. So. Yeah. Uh, y'all y'all tap in with. Cool KM, of course, tap, tap in with tapped in reviews for the liquor reviews. Yeah, man. And like, the end the, end the goat, man. Oh, yeah, the end the goat. Hey, Snoop Dogg. Hey, this this would be a dope ad chain and juice G. I don't got it. Like, I fuck with it. I fuck with it. But yeah, bro, I'm, I'm, it's a pleasure to be on this mud, bro. Like, people, you know, you don't never know who supports you and shit. So, yeah. Just to hear that, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's definitely more motivation and more fuel to the fire, though. Man, I got a couple of homeboys, like, uh, man, we. 
we listen to your, you know what I'm saying? Or she, goddamn, if I'm in the mood with my lady or whatever, I ain't got no lady right now, but like, she, I might put on some cool KM, and I ain't on no homo, she like, yeah, she no, jamming. Bro, bro, and see, a lot of people like, man, you, like, fuck all this. Like, I got homies dead and be like, bro, cool, I done fucked the bitch in your songs, bro. Like, I done, and I don't see no wrong with it, because like, if you fuck a bitch to R. Kelly, it's the same it's shit. It's the same shit. But just because you know me, it's like, <laughs> what's the difference? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, you know, we gotta do all that, bro. I don't wanna look down on nobody. Like, bro, I'm the, the least judgmental, judgmental person on this planet. Yeah. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, you supporting, you supporting. I ain't no dick right. It's just like, I thank you. You know what I'm saying? That one play matter to me. I don't give a fuck. It ain't gotta be a hundred thousand. Yeah. That one, your one, they one, they one, that shit add up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a fucking dollar. So, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I appreciate every and single person that even click play and Got my app on their phone, for real. Oh, God. Just to even, let me click his IG, let me play a video, let me see. Like, I appreciate that shit. That shit matter. Man, you can let them know, uh, let them know where they can find your stuff at, where they can follow you at, man. And then we gonna uh, roll about this thing. Yeah, I'm, uh, IG, every every social media platform the same. Cool KM, K-O-L-K-M underscore. And, uh, Apple Music, Spotify, Google Play, everything Cool KM. Yeah. Everything. Like, it's not hard to find. Just cool, can you? Yeah, type it all together. You ain't got to put no space. You don't, just don't, don't, don't put no space in my shit. <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like that. Like, it's the simplest name on in the world. Like, it's just cool, K-O-L, capital K, capital M, all together. Yeah. And, of course, you can find Tap Their Reviews and Tap Their Reviews on all social media. You can type it straight out. It's going to pop up Tap Their Reviews on Facebook. Put the space between Tap Their Reviews. Uh, you on Clubhouse yet, man? I am on Clubhouse. Cool KM. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm on cool Clubhouse KM. too. Uh, tap your reviews. Hey, but and yeah, subscribe and like, man. Like this is this is a new beginning for some new shit. Like I fuck with, hey. I fuck with that boy and y'all subscribe and like Clubhouse, hey. Facebook, oh, IG. Man. We here with it, <laughs> man. That's been tap your reviews and we this the review on Indigo Gin and we out, man. Appreciate you for coming through. Yes, sir. <laughs> And go listen to Outlaw. <laughs> <laughs>